Do you expect us to believe that a babe like this would go out with you? Go out with me and go to bed with me. Oh, baby, you are so beautiful. I've got to have you. How do you raise money fast? Okay, this is, this is too much, but when my brother was in high school, there was a guy who walked through the calf naked. He made a lot of money from people who bet he wouldn't dare. What a loser. He's gonna get caught for exactly. sure. Maybe not. There's a staff meeting. Could I talk to Mr. Radich? It's very important. <laughs> Mr. Jeremiah, come with me, please. Penny? Yes? Hi, it's me, Dwayne. So I was gonna call you the other night, Wayne. but... Oh, my God. What's wrong? I went to the doctor and had a blood test done. It's HIV positive. HIV? What do you mean? It's AIDS. You have to get a test done, too. My parents don't have to know about this, do they? If you don't want them to, I certainly won't tell them. But if there's some other adult to talk to, I encourage you to do so. As we discussed last time, waiting for these test results can be hard. Do you think I have AIDS? I don't know. But I'm afraid that you're in a high-risk category because your friend has tested HIV positive and there was no condom. There wasn't any need to use a condom. She was on the pill. Dwayne, they have more uses than just birth control. Now hold still. I didn't have one. It wasn't like it was planned. It just happened. I wasn't gonna ask her if she had one. Okay, we'll have these test results in about two weeks' time. We'll book an appointment for you to come in and see me either way, okay? Dwayne? Tell her today. Maybe. Bryant, listen. No, you listen. Michelle and I, we've been going out for a long time. And I've helped her through a lot of rough stuff. I just don't want to hurt her. If she still likes you, she's going to get hurt no matter how you tell her. Just let me do it my way, OK? Please? Listen, um, Amy, I, I can only give you $5 today, if that's OK, because I owe a lot of people money, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> Why don't you just pay me the whole thing and get it over with? No, I'll, I'll give you $5 Starting more tomorrow, if that's OK. I mean, I, I Come owe a lot of people thrash, money. Gordon I really tomorrow, appreciate it. Tomorrow, I'll see Jason Day. I promise. Busted Thanks. And Simon. Thank you. Dwayne. Hey, when are you going to pay me the money you owe me? I told you before, Jeremiah, I don't owe you anything. You're the one who told Radich about the bet, man. I wouldn't have lost if you hadn't snitched. Leave me alone. You owe me $314, man. Hey, Joey, where's that money you owe me? Alex, give me time. Give me time. It's been two weeks already. I know. I know. And go. Hi, LD. Well, I was right. The condom machines are causing a lot of controversy. Some parents want them out. Others say keep them. Everybody has an opinion. Come on. Condoms. It's 
no way I use a condom. I mean, suppose you're getting all hot and heavy with this chick, right? It's not like I'm gonna stop and say, excuse me while I slip into some latex. There's no way. Great, thanks. Cut. Say hi to LV. Let's say hi to LV. Say hi. Wait. Hi. Oh, I guess we want to do this. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that some kids are uh, going to have sex whether their parents like it or not. So we should at least try to uh, protect them against pregnancy. I can tell you about that. <laughs> and uh, disease. Say hi, right? LV. You think that's right? Say, <laughs> Say hi. Oh, in the camera. Here. You gotta look in the camera. Hi. There you go. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, Joey. What's up? Hey. <laughs> and have you had the speakers yet? No, nah, that's after Jim. Yeah. Gee, I'm excited. No, you'll be surprised. It's really interesting. Maybe. Joey, when am I going to get my $5 back? Kathleen, could you give me a couple of days on that, please? Okay. That's the same hat. <laughs> I am never, ever going to bet with anyone again. Well, some people let you off because you tried. Yeah, a lot of people didn't, though. I still owe a lot of money. It's gonna take me forever to get this car. Well, at least it's still there. Yeah. And there's the one who messed it up. I'm gonna get him. I don't know how, but I'm gonna get him. I'll help. Let's glue his locker. No, not good enough. I wanna really get him. It's gonna pay. I'm really not looking forward to this class. Well, I heard from another class whose AIDS people were really good. <laughs> oh, well, I think I'll sleep through it. I went for some radiation treatment once, and they were really nice to everybody else. You know, that was fine. It got to be my turn, and uh, they wore gloves up to here, you know? And, uh, they didn't want to talk to me. They didn't want to touch me. They just wanted me out of there as quickly as possible. And these are medical professionals. Yeah. <coughs> uh, there have got to be some questions right now. Um, anything at all. There are no stupid questions. Can you catch AIDS by giving blood? Um, impossible. That's a sterilized needle, and they're taking blood from you. Um, you're not coming into contact with anything that will infect you. Now, if you get a transfusion of blood that's HIV positive, mm -hmm. Then you can catch it. Right, but blood is, is very carefully tested, though. And as a person living with AIDS, I'm very careful to make sure that nobody comes into contact with my blood. Yeah. What's the hardest thing for you to deal with when you have the HIV virus or AIDS? Um, for me, the alienation of loved ones. You find out pretty fast who your real friends are, because you lose most of the others. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, you see, they're very ignorant a lot of the times. They, they don't know much about the disease, and they think that you know, they're going to get it just by being near you. You can't catch it by touching us. No. Um, another thing is you, you go to a lot of funerals, which can be very depressing. Uh, I've buried a lot of friends. Yeah. How do you deal with the fact you're going to die? Dwayne. <laughs> it's, that's okay. There are no stupid questions. It's all right. Um, I don't think about death and dying anymore. I concentrate on living today. And I don't see AIDS as a death sentence. It's, it's more like a, a chronic illness that you'll have to deal with for the rest of your life, however long that will be. Right. Yeah. Um, what did you do when they told you you had AIDS? Oh, it was, um, it was like everything stopped. I walked out of the clinic. And I went back to work. It was the only thing I knew how to do. The terror, that came later. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the people who gave you AIDS? You can really depress yourself, yeah. concentrating uh -huh. on who gave it to you. And basically, it comes down to uh, looking in the mirror and saying, you know, I have to, uh, I have to fix it. Hi, this is Bronco, your student council president. Last year, you know, I thought they'd be like thin and sick looking. Yeah, well, 
You sure can't tell they have AIDS just by looking at them. That was so depressing. I mean, that story about the guy in the hospital. Oh, give me a point. He's got AIDS, doesn't he? So? Listen, I'll see you in the cab. Bye. So, Dwayne, buddy, since when were you so interested in AIDS? Don't bug me. No, seriously. You should have told me you were a homo. Darling, I never knew. You don't have to be a homo to get it. Yes, you are. <laughs> Oh, it's all a big joke, isn't it? What do you know about anything? Dwayne, take it easy, man. Take it easy. I know, I'm sick of your big mouth, you know that? You're crazy. Couldn't you imagine cruising for babes in this car? Yeah. If Dwayne hadn't messed it up. I had it. You got him. Who? Guess which big dumb jerk I just saw beating up a poor innocent condom machine. Dwayne? How'd you guess? Joey, you got him right where you want him. Vandalizing school property. That's very serious. Especially for someone who's on probation. Ooh. Yeah. Uh... Nah, I should show some mercy. What? Why? I'm a compassionate guy. Look, I won't tell Radich as long as he pays me the money I lost. That's blackmail. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it great? <sighs> you are coming home to daddy. We got, oh, we got the car. This is the car. We got the car, Joey. This is excellent. This is exactly how I wanted to get him. This is perfect. Good morning, Degrassi. Don't quote me on that after yesterday's tragic football loss. But I was glad to see you all out there. And don't get discouraged, because we're bound to win our next game. Thank you. And so she said to me, she said, Nancy, you know, what are you doing with the condom? And I said, well, Mom, they're giving them to us at school now. I have a hard time believing this. I don't know. I'll see you later. Hi. Hi. You got... Heard you guys lost. Sorry. That's okay. Michelle? Yeah. We have to talk. About what? Michelle? We've been going out for a year and a half. So as long as we love each other. A year and a half is a long time. I know. I don't know how I would have gotten through last year without you. Right. It's just... Michelle... I need some breathing room. You want to break up? Well... Why? What's changed? What have I done? I don't want to break up. I think we should just cool it for a bit. But I still want us to stay friends because we still like each other. Right? Michelle, please don't cry. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Look, I just need some space and some time to think. Is there somebody else? No. team deserves more than just 20 spectators I always to get for president's last night's Every game. Night. Let's have a better turnout next time. 
which is this Thursday, after school in the gym. Come in. Oh, Dwayne, hi. Come on in, have a seat. So? I have bad news for you. Your HIV test is positive. This is going to mean a lot of changes in your life. Look, I know this is very difficult for you to hear. But as we discussed last time, it does not mean you have AIDS. It shows only past exposure to HIV. It does not necessarily mean current infection. But the virus is in your blood. I'm afraid that you'll be facing some pretty hard realities. You mustn't father children. As infection is very, very serious for you, you must do everything in your power to stay healthy. Action. I agree with putting these machines into the high schools, but I'm very disappointed at the vandalism that's been occurring here at Degrassi. These things are for you guys. They could help save someone's life. Who's going to put up the money to have these replaced? Cut. Oh, guess what? What? Brian told her. Oh, well, finally, it's about time. I was getting so mad at him. For four weeks we've been going out, and he still wouldn't tell his old girlfriend. So when did he tell her? Um, uh, sometime this morning, I guess. How did Michelle take it? Oh, not too good. From what Brian said, she cried like Niagara Falls. And what a wimp. Not really. I sort of feel sorry for her, but not too sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I really like him. So, Cindy's got a new boyfriend, eh? Yeah, I think it's about time. <laughs> Hi. What? You don't want to know. What? What don't I want to know? You just don't. Well, you're obviously dying to tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. Because you have the right to know. It's terrible. He's a slug, a big slug. Can we start from the beginning, please? BLT's got another girlfriend. I heard her boasting about it. Here's one for you. Alexa, tell me what you know. Okay. Her name's Cindy. What a stupid name. Any guy who'd go out with a Cindy, forget him. Come on. They've been going out for four weeks. Four weeks? I heard her say he didn't want to hurt your feelings. And that you cried like Niagara Falls. What? Uh-oh. We never made it on the field. You guys are different. You lied to me. Michelle, what are you talking about? You know very well what I'm talking about. Cindy? Oh. You said there wasn't anybody else. Michelle, I was trying to be nice. Nice? You call that nice? weeks you've been going out with her. Look, I tried to spare your feelings. Because I cry like Niagara Falls? Michelle, I can't explain. You're a pig and a liar! What, what, what? Oh, God. 
Attention, students. I am more than a little disappointed at the attitude some students are displaying towards the condom dispensers. I would have thought that a school with a reputation as good as Degrassi High's would treat this matter with a little more maturity. There have been two incidents of vandalism so far, and I want it stopped. Carry on. So, Dwayne, uh, when are you going to pay me the money you owe me? Don't start that again. You owe me $314. Maybe more. And you are going to pay me. Or I'm going to tell Raditz you busted that condom machine. I know you did it. I've got a witness. Mind your own business, you little cockroach. No. You don't talk to me like that anymore. What do you think they'll say when they find out Mr. Probation vandalized school property? That's why you're going to pay me. If I tell, you're out of here. Hey, man, watch it. I've had it with you. Hey, man, I'm warning you. Come on, get up, you cockroach. How do you like being tripped for a change? You little. Go, get away. No, I want to settle this now. I don't want to fight anymore. What's the matter? Scared of a little blood? Joey, I'm warning you. Stay away from me. Oh, big tough guy's a wimp. A chicken. Come on. Didn't you hear what they said? You're bleeding too, man. What are you talking about? Do you want this on you? What if I had AIDS? Dwayne, if you got AIDS, man, that's fine by me. I'll be at your funeral, man. I'll be the guy laughing. You think it's a joke? You think I'd joke if I had it? I didn't do anything wrong! I was just careless, that's all! And now I'm gonna die. Get out of here. I said get out! Attention students, anybody wishing to change their classes must do so by this Friday. Okay, action. Here we are, back at the Degrassi Girls washroom for a few more opinions. Kathleen? Condom machines should not be in school bathrooms because that condones sex. It tells kids, here, we know you're doing it. It makes it easier. If the machines weren't here, I know lots of kids that would think twice before having sex. I mean, the fact is, people aren't going to use them. I can't see myself walking into a bathroom and buying a condom. It's embarrassing. I don't want all my friends to know I'm having sex. You're not. It was horrible, Erica. I, I, I almost had the money to buy the car. Now I'm broke. I owe half the school a fortune. There's no way I'm going to get it. Joey. See you, Joey. Weird. Listen. About yesterday, he said some things that I didn't mean. No problem. 
Here. $314. I pay, and you keep quiet. Uh-uh. Take it. Look, I don't want your money, man. Why? Because I touched it? You afraid to touch it? You afraid to touch me? Take the money. got a deal. No one. We got the car. I bet you feel real good, huh? No one. Joy, you got him really good. Yes. You got him made, oh, man. Right.